Hearts, what a beautiful day it is. Unless you're in the AAF, that is, then not so much. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and I was driving up from Philly last night, so I couldn't get the Yankee game through on the radio. So the next best thing was the Phillies. It was Bryce Harper's return to Nationals Park last night, and it went a little something like this. Right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Oh, let me see. Yeah, he's getting booed. Ooh, I'm in that crowd. I'm booing him. Ooh. Oh, wow. Then he goes and does this. The bat flip means it's probably gone. Oh, and it is. Yes, Washington was not expecting that after he struck out two times, right? Well, Phillies fans travel well because the stadium was packed. We ask a question before every game of HQ Sports, so find us on Twitter at HQ Sports or drop your answer in the chat right now. I wanted to know, is this the year Bryce gets his ring? I know, I know, it's only April, but all of the changes during the offseason has us super excited, and we want to know your thoughts. Jeremiah Gallagher says, I can definitely see them making a run, but not winning at all this year. Pitching is good, but still not high level enough to win a seven-game series against the best. He also doesn't think they're very deep if they suffer any kind of injuries. Very true. I always appreciate reading your responses, my friend. James Testani says, rings are for October, not for April. Does anyone really think the Orioles are the team to beat in the AL East? Lord, I hope not. Sorry, Orioles fans. And Lisa Jane says, sorry, Lauren, the Red Sox are repeating. Um, yeah, the way they're playing now, I think they've only won one game, right? Are they one in five? Oh, boy. Listen, we got a long season ahead of us. All of us do. The Phillies did end up losing today after making quite the comeback late in the game, so there are no longer any undefeated teams in Major League Baseball. We'll revisit this topic later on in the season, I know. As for tonight, we're going 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. Get them all right, and you're getting a piece of our pot. $1,000 is up for grabs tonight. Oh, yes, it is. And you can still earn points for every question that you're answering correctly because we're in season three and points quickly become levels and levels give you those coveted free passes to keep you in the game longer. You can also refer your friends and both get extra lives because we went and wiped that referral slate clean. So keep reinviting those friends that you once did in the past. Do it again and try to get more extra lives out of it. But if you're running out of friends like me and you still need an extra life, pick one up right now to get the edge on the competition tonight. Listen, I know some of the questions that are ahead of us, and let me tell you, they're tough. So get one now or play HQ five days in a row to earn a free one. All right. That does it for Coach's Notes. Get that last stretch in. Let's get out there. So the over 116,000 players ready to go for gold and maybe a little bit of green. Let's do it. Round one starts right now. What term describes a tennis serve that hits the net but still lands in the service court? Fault, ace, or let? And it's totally your fault if you don't ace this let it be known. Ha, see right what I did let. there? You stole the answers in a sentence. That's fun. If you serve into the net or hit the net and have the ball land out of bounds, it's a fault. But if it touches the net and still goes where it's supposed to, it's a let, which is basically a do-over. Let is the answer here at round number one. 54,441 of you knew that one. Over 32,000 of you thinking it was a fault. You got to read the full answer and all the choices. But for 54,000 of you, I got all the love in the world for you. Another tennis word. Got to save that for Anna Roisman, huh? Round two, coming up. What player will not be participating in this year's NBA playoffs? Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, or Kawhi Leonard? NBA playoffs, right around the corner. Oh, just one year Hollywood, and LeBron is already looking for a take two. 
For the first time since 2005, seriously, 2005, the NBA playoffs will go on without LeBron James. LeBron James can't make it happen this year. 78,437 of you getting that one right. I see a lot of you used some extra lives at round one. I told you, I prepped you early for this. But listen, LeBron James, forget about the playoffs. An NBA Finals hasn't been without LeBron since 2010. Wrap your brains around that as I toss out round number three. Which of these sports leagues just announced it is suspending all operations? Arena Football League, Major League Lacrosse, or the AAF? They couldn't quite make it to the end of the season, and now the AAF is taking its ball and it's going home. The Alliance of American Football is the answer here at round number three. 67,485 of you getting that one right. And yeah, allegedly all of the players on those eight teams paid their own way home this week. Ooh, that's tough. Well, we're trying to get you some money here right now. Round number four. Where was the first official outdoor NHL regular season game played? Las Vegas, Edmonton, or Boston? Where are my hockey fans at? Sound off in the chat right now. The first preseason NHL game went down in the desert of Vegas in 1991. Wow. But the first outdoor game that counted happened in Edmonton in the 2003 Heritage Classic between the Oilers and the Canadians. Edmonton is where the first official outdoor regular season game was played. 38,022 of you knew that one, knocking out over 40, over 50,000 of you here at round number four. I wanted all of my hockey fans to sound off in the chat. What do you think of a hockey only game of HQ Sports? Let me know. Round five coming at you. What woman dunked multiple times in the 2012 NCAA tournament on the way to a title? Candace Parker, Brittany Griner, or Maya Moore? The six foot nine Griner was a force of nature for Baylor, winning most outstanding player in 2012 and becoming the first ever to have 2,000 points and 500 blocks. Brittany Griner, oh yes, dunking on you here on round number five, 54,306 of you getting that one right, knocking out over 30,000 here. We got the final four coming up, Baylor, Oregon, UConn, Notre Dame playing Friday. Who you got? Let me know in the chat. Halfway point, round six coming at you. Which of these NFL infractions results in the largest amount of penalty yardage? Chop block false start, or holding. Really quizzing you on these NFL infractions this week, right? I mean, this is only number two. False start is five yards against the offense. Holding is 10 from the spot of the foul, but a chop block is serious business. That's always going to be 15. Chop block, there it is, the largest amount of penalty yardage, 64,768 of you getting this one right. All right, we're taking it into the seventh here. Let's see what you've got. Come on, round seven. Which of these teams will not play in London this year? New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox, or the Houston Astros? That's right, Major League Baseball is going across the pond for a two-game series. It's going to be between... The Red Sox and the Yankees. Look how excited the Queen is. She's having tea with who? Mookie Betts. What? Aaron Judge, get that tea away from Mookie Betts. You know what Boston Red Sox will do a tea right in the harbor. I know that was 250 years ago, but still. The Houston Astros are the only team that is not going to be there in London. 48,969 of you knew that one. You picked the right one there. All right, it's the seventh inning stretch. We're going to give you a little score check right now. These were the games that happened today. And as for the games happening right now, the Mets are up four against the Marlins, and the Cubs are leading the Braves one to nothing. Round number eight. Last week, Tottenham striker Harry Kane announced his desire to play in what other pro sports league? The MLB, 
the NFL, or the NBA. None of, the, 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 none of those are soccer. Yeah. Harry Kane was the golden boot winner at last year's World Cup. Mm -hmm. And now he says he wants to lace up that golden boot to kick some field goals. One day I'll be wearing this as a kicker for the Patriots. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A bit big, but I need a few. Don't do it, Harry. Just don't. He's a Patriot super fan, so he thinks when his soccer career is done, he wants to be an NFL kicker. I mean, it's a great safe position, right? NFL is the answer here. 35,675. Did yours go? Yeah, mine's frozen. You should know that one. Why? Because it's on the list of things. Oh, swimming. Is that was question nine? What, uh, sure. See, water polo. Oh, yeah, good job. But I'm not in. Neither am I. You said Coach K won a lot of basketball something? Mm -hmm. What's NCAA stand for? To win the knit and the something else missing. Basketball and the net. City College of New York represents. Not that I went there or anything. Eight thousand of you, over eight thousand of you, getting that one right, knocking out over ten thousand of you here at round number ten. Oh yeah, the NIT, the Bison, the Longhorns play tomorrow in New York. I'm calling I'm still it like the livestock game because I take it. Mine's back to normal.
Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.